Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. For Indian Army, the year 2023 is going to be the year of transformation where the information technology and advanced situational awareness will play a vital role. The Army has set itself on a course of transformation and is working on creating a battlefield surveillance system to provide a composite operational picture to commanders and staffers at all levels for swift decision making. Now, in order to achieve the battlefield supremacy, Indian Army has launched multiple projects around which we will be discussing in today's video. The first one is SAMA or Situational Awareness Module for the Army. The Army's Combat Information Decision Support System or CIDSS is now being called as Army's Information and Decision Support System AIDSS. The system is designed to integrate inputs from all operational, logistic and managerial information system to present a comprehensive picture to commanders at all levels on a click of a button. SAMA is being fielded this month for validation in one of the core, the aim is to set AIDSS rolling in two years. The second one is e site rep. So, e site rep is operationally very important. It will be state of art, spatial visualization, temporal and dynamic querying, and analytics custom built for commanders and staff. From June 2023, the situational reporting will commence on an enterprise class GIS platform. The Northern Command in Udhampur will be the early adopters of it, followed by other commands. The third one is Army's own Gati Shakti, which is being called as Avgat. Inspired by PM Narendra Modi's Gati Shakti program, Indian Army has begun building a similar project that will bring in multi-domain spatial awareness on a single GIS platform. The concept will be rated in phases and initially project named Avgat will bring together information from operational areas, logistics, satellite imagery data, maps and weather related information on one single platform. This should be ready by the end of year 2023. The next one is Project Anuman. It is aimed to enhance the accuracy of long range weapons as well as help troops deployment in harsh terrains of northern borders with China. The artillery system of Indian Army needs weather report to maintain accuracy. Data from National Center of Medium Range Weather Forecasting has helped the artillery and the collaboration has led to development of an application called Anuman. The Army will give NCMRWF information of the situation along the northern borders and it will receive the high resolution weather forecast of that location. Next one is A4CS or Artillery Combat Command Control and Communication System. The Army's oldest and most successful operational information system is A4CS. This system is also undergoing upgrade with migration of defense series map and use of artificial intelligence under project Shakti. The next one and the most important one is project Sanjay. It is also called as Battlefield Surveillance System or BMS. The Army's BMS is being built under project Sanjay. Bharat Electronics will be the lead system integrator. The BMS will enable integration of hundreds of sensors to provide composite operational picture for commanders and army personnel at all levels. It seeks to create multiple surveillance centers for field information and enable the integration of a large number of sensors. It will also integrate with A4CS of Army. The Army's project Sanjay is ready and tests were carried out in plains, desert and mountain between August and November in 2022. Over 60 surveillance centers for field formation will be ready by December 2025. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. 
With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.